Sunday School at home, so all of my kids are here with me, and they are going to be doing most of the work today. Hi! As usual, we're going to have our worship song, our story, and we're going to do a special Mother's Day craft. But first, we're going to get started. Ezra is going to say our finishing up Bible verse of Ephesians 2.10, and then Isla is going to give us our new Bible memory verse. Ezra, go ahead. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in him. Great job. Isla, can you please tell us what is our new Bible verse? Psalm 35. Great job. For a trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not rely, not rely on your own understanding. That's great. That's right. I'm going to read it to you guys from my Bible. From the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. That is such a great verse for, our, for us to memorize because it means we can trust the Lord more than our own plans. His plans are so good for us and he is so trustworthy. How wonderful. Let's say that together one more time. Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Great job, everybody. Now we're going to go worship together. Hi, kids. Ezra and I are really happy to be with you here on Mother's Day. And we've got a special song for you again today. This one's called, I Will Trust My Savior Jesus. And I think it's really important, the words in this song. It's really important for uh, little kids and for big kids and for mommies and daddies and for every age is to learn to trust Jesus more and more, to trust them with our lives, to trust them with everything. So this song is all about that. So let's sing it together. And I will trust my Savior Jesus when my dark Doubts befall and trust you when to simply trust him seems the hardest thing of all. I can't trust my Savior Jesus, trust you when my strength is small. For I know the shield of Jesus is the same. Jesus, only Jesus, may my 
everybody here we are and we're going to read our story which might seem funny today because it's more of a Christmas story but it talks about Jesus mom who was Mary. Ezra is going to read us the story so go ahead Ezra you can get started. There once was a young girl who was engaged to a man named Joseph. Joseph was the great 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 grand son of King David. One morning, this girl was minding her own business when suddenly a great warrior of light appeared, right there in her bedroom. He was Gabriel, and he was an angel, a special messenger from heaven. When she saw the tall, shining man standing there, Mary was frightened. You don't need to be scared, Gabriel said. God is very happy with you. Mary looked around to see if he, see if it perhaps was he was talking to someone else. Mary, Gabriel. Mary, Gabriel said, and he laughed with such a gladness that Mary's eyes filled with sudden tears. Mary, you're going to have a baby, a little boy. You will call him Jesus. He's the son. He is God's own son. He is the one. He is the rescuer. God who flung the planets into space and kept them whirling around and around. The God who made the universe with just a word. The one who could do anything at all was making himself small and coming down as a baby. Wait! God was sending a baby to rescue the world? But it's too wonderful, Mary said and felt her heart beating hard. How can it be true? It is anything too wonderful for God? Gabriel asked. So Mary trusted God more than what her eyes could see. And she believed. I am God's servant, who said, whatever God says, I will do. All right, everyone, before we dive into talking about our story, Ezra, I have a question for you. What do moms want for Mother's Day? What um, would you give them? I don't know. Well, what did you give your mommy? I think that a kid, that a mom would like. Okay, t tell me some of those things. Well, like something that could help a mom. Okay, what's that? Like, there are lots of things that can help a mom. Okay. And we bought mommy a pack of chocolates. For chocolates. Her. That is my favorite Mother's Day present. Yeah. What else do some other moms maybe like? What do you think? I don't know. You don't know? Flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, flowers would be one. Maybe uh, some new clothes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think the best present we could give our mom is? No, no. Hmm. So today we are going to give our mom one of the best presents we can give oh, them. Oh, uh, I know. You know? A picture. A picture. A picture is a really good present. Our present is going to be a picture, but it's going to have something extra special on it. It's going to have some things that explain about Bible verses. It's going to have some Bible verses. That's right. So in our story, here's Mary and Gabriel. And the important part in this story, it says, what did it say? Mary trusted, Mary trusted God more than her eyes could see. That's right. Mary trusted God more than what her eyes could see. And she said that she was God's servant. She would do whatever God says. So these are some important things to remind our moms. God is trustworthy and we need to trust in him. And sometimes it's important to remind your moms about why God has made special promises and what those special promises are for her. So today we're going to make a special craft. We're going to put Bible reminders on it to help our mom become more like Jesus. Should we go get started on that? 
Yes. All right. Go get your paper and your pen or pencil and we will get started. All right, everybody, here's our sample craft. So today we're gonna to be making this flower and in the middle it says, God said that. And then we're gonna write something in each petal that God has said about your mom that can point her and remind her about the gospel message. Then we're gonna to write to mommy, I love you, and you guys can write your name at the bottom. So Ezra is going to get us started and he's gonna teach us how to draw the flower. Okay. You first start with two straight lines down, nearly to the bottom, and then stop. And then another one right beside it. And then, draw a big circle and connect it to the other line. And then, do five very big petals because we're going to need to do a lot of writing in them. There. And then do a big, a, do a little curve right there and then do a point there and then do a little curve down. And then if you want to put three lines in it. There. That's how you draw your flower. All right, you guys, now I'm gonna help you write your letters. We're doing a lot of letters because mommies are so special. We wanna make this really fancy and nice. So stretch out your fingers after you did that drawing. Give them a little wiggle and here we go. We're gonna start in the center of our flower and we are gonna write, God said that. So we're gonna start with G, O, D, and that spells God, and we're gonna make a space. Said, S, A, I, D. God said, and then down here we're gonna write the word that. T, H, A, T, and then we're gonna do three dots, dot, 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 and so that means God said that, and then we're gonna write different things here that God has said, and then your mommy can read those. So we're gonna start off with our new scripture verse, which is Proverbs 3, 5, which tells us that we can trust in God. Ezra's gonna read that for us again so we know what it says. Go ahead, Ezra. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. So right there it says, trust in the Lord. We can trust in him. So right here we're going to write, you can trust in him. We'll go nice and slow to get these letters to look nice, okay? So we're gonna start with the word you. We're gonna do Y, O, mm, sounds like Harvey's up from her nap, doesn't it, Ezra? Mm -hmm. <laughs> y, O, U, space, can, C, A, N, you can, trust, T, R, U, S, T, space, in, I, N, 
And next word, him, H, I, M. And then we're going to write where this is from. Remember, it is our new Bible verse of Proverbs. We will do P, R, O, V. We'll just do a short form. Then we're going to do a number three and one dot below the other like this, dot, dot, and then a number five. Great job. Ezra is going to look up our next Bible verse that we're going to put in here, and it is the one we just memorized, Ephesians 2.10. We're going to write, God said that you are his workmanship, from Ephesians 2.10. So we're, let's get started on writing you are his workmanship. So the word you is Y O U. Then we'll go down here. R is A R E. Then the word his H I. S. And now we're going to write workmanship, which is a very big word. So if you don't have enough space to write it all the way across, just go as far as you can and write the rest of it down another line. So here we go. W O R K M A N, and I'm going to finish the rest of mine down here. You can keep going along if your petals aren't big enough. That's fine. Your mommy is going to love your picture no matter what. So let's finish workmanship. S H I P. And remember, this is from Ephesians. E P H. That's our short form for Ephesians 2, and we're going to do that same dot, dot, and then the number 10. And Ezra, would you read what that full verse says for us? Ephesians 2, number 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, which we should walk in them. Great job. So our next one we're going to do is Galatians 5.1. Go ahead, Ezra, and flip to that right here. Galatians 5.1, which says we are free in Jesus. So in our next petal, we're going to write you are free in Jesus. Y O U space. A R E next line down or you can keep going if your petals are different than mine our next word is free F R E E in so make a space I N and then make a space for the word Jesus, J, E, S, U, S. And this verse is from Galatians, G, A, L, for Galatians, that's our short form. And we're going to look at chapter 5, dot, dot, verse 1. And why don't you guys take a break and stretch your fingers while Ezra reads to us. What does Galatians 5, 1 say, Ezra? For freedom, Jesus sets us free. Stand firm and then and don't submit again to a yoke of slavery. That's right. For freedom... Christ has set us free. So we are free because of Christ, who is Jesus, and so are our moms. 
they are free from sin. So we're going to have that one there. That's a great verse. Let's get on to our next pedal. So we're going to look at Philippians 4.19. And it says, He fills your every need. That's a good one to remind our moms. Moms have a lot of needs because they take care of a lot of other people's needs. So we can remind our moms that God fills every need that she has. We're going to write he, H, E, space, fills, F, I, L, L, S, space, your, Y, O, U, R, space, every, E, V, E, R, Y. He fills your every need. N, E, E, D. And this verse was Philippians, P, H, I, L. Chapter 4, dot, dot, verse 19. So go ahead, Ezra. What is Philippians? Yeah. Philippians 4, which is... Uh-oh. Let's see, Ezra. Where is it from? Oh, he's got it. I was trying to skip a different page. Okay, Philippians 4, 19. Go ahead. And my God will supply all your needs according to his richest in glory in Jesus, in Christ Jesus. Great job. So he will supply our every need. Wonderful. And then our last verse is 1 Thessalonians 1, 4. You guys are doing such a good job. I know this is a lot of letters, but it is going to be so special for your mom to see how hard you worked on this. So this one says, you are loved by him. Every person wants to be loved. And the best thing ever is that the God who created the entire universe loves each one of us. So that is a great reminder, especially for your mommy to remind her. You guys say, mommy, did you know that God loves you? And you can remind everybody about this because they should be reminded of it all the time. So we're going to write, you are loved by him. Here we go with our word you, Y, O, U, space, R, a, R, E. Next word is loved. L, O, V, E, D. The next word is by, B, Y, and then we're going to do the last word, which is him. H, I, M. And here are our last letters. We're going to write a number one. Then we're going to write T, H, E, S for the word Thessalonians. Isla, just a minute, please. Chapter one verse 4. So there we go. You guys finally finished. I bet your hands might be a bit sore from writing all of these. Ezra, can you tell us what 1 Thessalonians 1 4 says? For we know what brothers and sisters loved by God that he has chosen you. That's right. We are loved by God and chosen by him. 
So go ahead and take your time to color this all in. You can use your mom's favorite colors if you know them. And you can give this to your grandma or somebody else for a special Mother's Day present. Um, and then you guys can give it to them. You don't need to post it on Facebook this week. Just make sure your mom gets it or your grandma or whoever. And then that'll make them so, so happy. And you can remind them, if you can read, read these things to them and say, Mom, you know that you can trust in Jesus. You can trust in God. It says so in Proverbs 3, 5. And that's our new scripture verse this week. Mom, did you know you are God's workmanship? Mom, you're free in Jesus. Mom, God fills your every need. And guess what, Mom? You are loved by God. Do you think those are great things, Ezra? Yes. Yes, those are all great things. And they're true about all of us. But because today is a special day, you guys can make sure you say all these things to your mom to remind her about what God has said about her. Great job on your craft, everyone. Now, because it's Mother's Day, Ezra is going to say a special prayer for all of our moms. God, thank you for moms. Thank you that they cook meals for us. Thank you that they take care of us. Thank you, Matt, that you made them because they are so important in our lives. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ezra. And you guys, make sure you tell your mom how much you love them and how special they are. And you can pray a special prayer of your own for them. I'm so glad you joined us this week for Sunday School at Home. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.